Holy God, we have entered the Lenten wilderness, a space that means many things to many people, a space that is for wandering and wrestling with doubt and temptation with you where you strengthen us and empower us for our lives and the journey ahead. Help us to remember that people find refuge in the wilderness, rest in the midst of the wrestling. And so as we consent to your presence in our lives in this time together, may we realize that you have brought us to this place by the movement of your Holy Spirit, month after month, and in this season, week after week. So be with us in this time of music and prayer and scripture and silence as we practice the silence, the silence, the silence. How sweet is the sound of silence. As we enter into a time where we can speak and lift up the concerns that are weighing heavy upon us, we do seek to empty ourselves at least for this time with great intention. We turn it all over. For we know that burdens shared are reduced, they are lessened, the weight is lighter. So we speak the names of people, places, and things. and respond 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, we know that where our own prayers are somehow too deep for words, you are sighing, groaning in our midst. Sometimes we actually feel that or know the moments. This may be one of them where we groan together. And Lord, as we gather a people who seek to cultivate the spiritual discipline of silence, meditation, contemplation, deep prayer, Lectio Divina, however we describe what we're doing, we are here for you. And so we do, we dare, dare, sing together the words that you taught us to pray. Ephesians chapter 1. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe. According to the working of his great might, which he accomplished in Christ when he raised him from the dead and made him sit at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name, that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he has put all those things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Thirst again. 
As we enter into this time of silence, some of us are practicing a method of contemplative prayer where a sacred word or phrase is used as a tool for returning when our mind begins to wander. In this is an act of surrender, a surrender that is kept simple. There is no judgment, only observation of the thoughts that return to you. We allow the thoughts as they come, take form, and then through the use of the sacred word, dissipate. As soon as thoughts emerge into our consciousness, we simply let go. We surrender. The power of the form does not reside in a particular clarity of mind, but entirely in the gesture of our release. Time makes the sacred word sacred. Through your repeated, patient use of the word to make your intentions real, your word will lodge itself deeply into your unconscious. And from there, it begins to work towards your transformation. Return to a sacred word in the silence, in the silence.
Go now in peace to wherever you may go. Go into your lives, your beds, your cars, your workstations, your gardens, your supper tables, wherever you go. Be at peace and know that God is near.